What's up everybody, I'm back and in this video, I've got a special treat for y'all. It's gonna be a walkthrough and on water review of the Letman, I think it's called the Letman LCS 70 Extreme. And for you guys that don't know, the Letman company has been around for, I don't know, 10,000 years. They've been making kayaks, they've been making whitewater paddles. These are some of the top paddles out there. It's been very difficult to get here in the US. So yeah, as you can see, I have a two piece, so. This one is a two-piece take apart. And the two-piece system is something that I've not used much, but I know G Power uses it, Galasport uses it. Uh, pretty much every company has some sort of mechanism, but let's look at what Letman's doing here. It looks like it's a lever action, and that's made out of metal. So that is not plastic or fiberglass. That is metal, and it's a lever action. And you can go from what looks like maybe 40 or 30 to 45 to 50 all the way up to 90 degree increments in your paddle left-handed right-handed and it's got a 10 centimeter adjustment here so let's try this out it's, it's a little that went together nicely and it looks like it has a 10 centimeter adjustment turn it around so i like that i like that system i'm going to put that to the test i'm not going to walk through it too much looking at it compared here to my at super light which is you know this paddle this at paddle lasted me like 14 years and it's a unibody construction as you see letman does the unibody construction also but one thing is look at the bend look at how they do their bend this is what they call a crank bend instead of a natural bend this is a natural bend right here where this is a crank bend and what that does that puts the blade in front of the hand so when you put the blade in front of a hand it gives you a, like a more efficient pull and less stress on your joints i do know that i have used blade forward like that and i'll show you guys something that kind of like warner does i love the surge and the odachi because of that blade forward which they don't have that in their bend as far as their their shaft bend they use it in their paddle bend so that's something that's interesting so we're going to see how that kind of that kind of goes today the uh the crank bend which i'm very interested in that so this is the ergonome pro small so little little smaller but it should be a faster stroke rate we're going to see how the small goes and i will try to get my hands on a large but i think the small is going to be pretty good in it of itself but yeah i've never had an adjustable shaft but the, the ability to take a paddle apart and store in your car so much easier or store around and adjust your feather one of the things that that i like to do is the ability so i use different size paddles when i'm play boating i'll use like my my super light which is like a 197 and when i'm kind of down river creaking or racing i'll use my surge or a dodgy which is like a 200 to a 202 so the ability to kind of eliminate that and put that all into one paddle definitely intrigues me a lot so yeah we'll see how that goes right there I'm not sure I've not I've not heard many things about these things breaking so they seem to be a very durable paddle I just wanted to uh, show you guys real quick and do a quick little review on the Letman extreme so yeah you can see the design philosophy of what they're doing they're wanting to go with a deep in the water paddle than a wider power pull which is what the the AT does in the the warner does you can definitely see the difference in the design philosophy it does have this slight ridge going down it right here that must add strength yeah so obviously this is not going to be a play paddle this to me is going to be a downriver machine so i'm so excited to get this on the water stay tuned guys i'm going to go ahead and get on the water and we'll see how this thing goes yeah, yeah both pieces of your paddle correct Left, right, correct. So I'm gonna start out. I usually run at a. I'm gonna start out at. Start out at six, which I think makes it a 200. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I can feel right here in the flat water that it's a it's a longer you can feel that it's a longer blade. This thing has an interesting power pole on it. 
So looking at it in the hand, you see how it's a crankshaft, which has the blade in front of the hand, which gives you that ability. Look how I can reach out. Look how far. Wow, I cannot do that with my other paddle. I can actually reach out past the bow. This is a nine foot boat. Ooh. It feels really good with the cross bows and draws. That bend is definitely slices through the water. I'm going to adjust it a little bit more. Interesting back face on it. This is, wow, this is where it excels. I can tell you that, just the way this feels. The swing weight's nice on it. Let's get it down in some white water. Let me extreme, I feel extreme already. I feel extreme just holding on to this face. got a weird kind of buoyancy effect to it. I'm going to have to adjust to that buoyancy effect. Very interesting pull. But it's got, it's got a weird pull. All right, the first set of rapids, I kind of like tuned it. It's hard to tune a paddle in in that manky crap right there so I wanted to get down here to kind of get a good feel for this paddle in white water. This paddle is definitely an acquired blade. It's definitely a, a blade that you kind of have to get used to. It's a very long blade that goes deep in the water and that blade for design you're going to have to overcome that that feeling. With the amount of quick power, it gets its power, I think. The amount of quick power that you can do, let me wash off a little bit, wash off the wave a little bit. Feels really good. Let's try this back face. It's got a weird kind of like back push to it, which is to be expected. Ooh, that's nice. You can grab a quick power in the aerated water. So watching the, how it can climb like this, that long blade in the water with that long board. It's got a weird, it's hard to get it back out of the water when you're in a stern stall. It's hard to push it out of the water that way once it gets locked in.
let's try to load. This thing has a very, this paddle has a really good like power load, but the back face is not that good on it. Not a fan of the back face. After messing with this paddle broken nose, I get a feeling this is gonna be good here too. So I'm just gonna kind of work this like a little slalom. That blade four design gives so much easier to do those cross bows and these draws. I'm really, so it took me a little bit to tune in this, this crank design, but I'm telling you, once you tune this crank design in, you really don't want to go back. Once you go crank, you won't go back. That is so beautiful. It gives you that ability to reach out so far. So really what the biggest, the issue with it is like more of a down river. This is definitely a down river style blade, not necessarily a playboat blade. So this is one of these that you're gonna buy it. You better, you're gonna have to readjust your technique. That's for sure. I'm gonna go for that eddy up there. It's got the power to just pull you up. This thing definitely has that deep water pull power that I like in a blade. This would be great for attainments too. Look at him go, yeah! He did the no hand technique. If you don't think I can do that. There you go. But you gotta make it look cleaner. I'm liking how this paddle feels, especially when it gets in this aerated water like this. All right, y'all, I'm gonna do uh, final thoughts on the Letman LCS 70 Extreme paddle. Wow, I, I don't know, where can I start with this thing? Uh, once you get over the crank shaft design, once you kind of get that feel, it feels really good in the water. Once you get over that feeling of having the blade way up high for when you're doing like braces or draw strokes, you have that blade up high. It lets me get a more powerful draw. It's definitely better for cross bows extreme this is the best cross bow and paddle i've ever had adachi is pretty good but this one this one takes the cake on the adachi it's got that long blade on it that lets you reach deep over that feels nice this it's nothing new you know um, like i said g power has them i think um gala sport has a version of this i really like it i've used them in the past but now I've had a, a chance to really put one through their paces. I really like this paddle a lot. As far as downriver, it's a little heavy. It's not the lightest paddle in the world. I don't know what it is. I'll put the specs up for you guys, let you see what the specs are on this, because I don't know all the specs. Has a little indent there. It's got a weird power load on the back to be expected. When you load that back, it has a kind of a a weird load on that power load on the back when you're loading it like that but as far as a forward pull wow look at that i can reach all the way out there like that and take a stroke unibody design i really trust that design when you when you don't have a two-piece paddle that's one thing but one these are available in straight shaft bent shaft two-piece uh i don't i think you can get just order whatever length you want you guys can hit me up, hit, leave in the comments below if you're interested in where to pick some of these up. I'll uh, message you and let you know where you can get them because there, there's a guy working on some Southeast distribution for these things right now. So yeah, I really like this paddle a lot. I think you guys will like it. But to the elephant in the room, the adjustment in the middle, 
how you know i've always been a little nervous when you add a joint here but i set this thing so at first i started at six on almost 50 and i because i do a lot of river running and playing a lot i i'd found i'd have some sliciness so i did adjust it down to the last adjustment there and it's felt really good you can go completely non I don't like going no feather, but you can go no feather there. I do like the fact that I could go as high as 60 if I want. So if I'm racing, I like to go 60. That way it's just a little better cutting through the water. Gives you a little more rotation. So that ability to be able to, to adjust like that. And that power pole is amazing. I love being able to pull that. So yeah. That's an interesting thing to have. Whether I like it or not, whether it fails, I have no idea. That's something where you'd have to use it forever. I have heard how some of the G powers and Gallo Sports move around after a while. This one feels pretty good. See, I'm twisting it there. One thing I did notice is this little lever mechanism, for whatever reason, would work itself up after a while. I don't know if I would hit it. And let me tell you, if that thing's up and you slide your hand down it, I, put, I almost put a little hole in my hand right there because I forgot it was going and I just kind of like slid it down and you got to be careful with that. That hurt. It almost cut me right there. So that was one thing that I had noticed on it. So I just made a habit to kind of make sure that it's closed all the way. Would I use that? I don't know. I would almost rather have a fixed blade, but after using it for a while, that is metal by the way. But yeah, so far, this is one of the better paddles I've ever used. You know, there it's good to know that there are other it's good to know that there are other options out there. Ophion, uh, my buddy Andrew, he has the Ophion line. I did some videos. I'll leave a link at the bottom on my Ophion paddles. This is the Letman. So there are like um, you know, Accent, there G, G Power, Gala Sport. There are like options now besides Warner. Warner's been having some supply chain issues, which I'm sure they'll work out. I have two Warners. You know, I really love, I love the Dachi, I love the Surge paddles. So I do have Warners, but I really like this paddle. I would use this as my all around blade. I can definitely tell you that downriver speed, I love it. I absolutely love it. One thing I wanted to see, so that's, that's all the way at 10. So the problem is like now my hand needs to be about right there. So yeah, that definitely feels longer now. When you go longer like that, because you're gonna have to move your hands in a little bit, unless you wanna be a wide gripper. I'm not a, I'm like shoulder width apart. You guys wanting to learn how to roll, you know, if you don't have a good roll, rolling with this thing is definitely something to get used to. I hit a few rolls out here and I had to get used to it. It's got a great kind of, it's good for bracing. The good thing is it doesn't, like it, it's, it does, and one thing this thing don't do, it does not like rocks. You hit a rock, it just like, it, it's pain to hit rocks. You hit a rock, you're like, oh, oh, you don't want to hit a rock. What else? I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, carbon Kevlar, fiberglass construction, very well made, extremely well made. Are they worth the money? I don't know. I'd have to use this for a while. Uh, I am going to be using this paddle for a little while, so we'll see. I'll let you guys, I'll do a follow-up review on this and let you guys know how this thing's holding up. But right now, it held up great. Did it cake on water? Let's look and see. A little bit of water in there. So it did get a little bit of water inside the shaft. So that's one thing it will do. It seems to take on a little bit of water. I don't know how you can make that completely watertight. So it did get a little bit of water in there, but that, that's okay. Yeah, guys, that's all I got on the Letman LCS 70 Extreme. Yeah, thanks a lot. Leave in the comments below if you think you would use one of these paddles, if this is something you think you'd drop down the cash for. But yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, catch you guys next time. I don't know about doing rebounds with that on there.